and welcome back to this segment on our channel called Answering Your Most Google Medical Questions by Heidi Gastro and today's video is a super interesting one. So let's get started. So in today's video we will be exploring the question, what are the 10 causes of fainting? So fainting occurs when one loses consciousness for a short amount of time because their brain isn't getting enough oxygen. The medical term for fainting is called syncope, but it is also more commonly known as passing out. A fainting spell generally lasts from a few seconds to a few minutes before one regains their consciousness. So while fainting may indicate a particular medical condition, sometimes it may occur in otherwise healthy individuals. Fainting is a common medical problem and accounts for 3% of all emergency room visits and 6% of all hospital admissions. So here are the 10 causes of fainting. Number one is low blood pressure or dilated blood vessels. So fainting is usually caused by a temporary drop in the blood pressure. During that brief drop, the brain does not get the blood flow it needs, causing one to lose conscious suddenly. Number two, which is an irregular heartbeat called an arrhythmia. So if one has an arrhythmia, it causes their heart to be too fast or too slow, making them feel lightheaded or dizzy. This happens because the heart cannot pump blood effectively during excessively fast or slow heart rates. Number three is abrupt changes in posture. So if one changes their body posture quickly, they can shock the body, which goes into a panic mode and tries to take steps back to get them to lay down or to come back into balance, which is called homeostasis. So benign proxismal positional vertigo, also commonly known as BPPV, makes one feel dizzy when they change their head or body position, like an act of suddenly bending over. BPPV usually only lasts a few seconds or minutes and if one doesn't respond to the dizziness by retreating and laying back down, they may faint altogether. Number four is dehydration. So when one is dehydrated, it means that their body is running on an insufficient amount of fluids. This causes the volume of their blood to go down, lowering their blood pressure and keeping their brain from getting enough blood and oxygen, causing the lightheadedness. Number five is low blood sugar. So having a low amount of sugar in the blood, which is also called hypoglycemia, can lead to dizziness by causing the brain cells to malfunction. Syncope due to low blood sugar is a common occurrence in patients who suffer from diabetes. Number six is alcohol consumption. So according to the Vestibular Disorders Association, alcohol changes the volume and composition of fluid in the inner ear, which can cause dizziness and imbalances as well as hearing loss. Alcohol is absorbed into the fluid of the inner ear and stays there even after it is no longer present in the blood and in the brain. Number seven is pain. So the sensation of pain can stimulate the vagus nerve and once stimulated, excess acetylcholine is released. The body's heart rate therefore slows down and the blood vessels begin to dilate, making it harder for blood to defeat gravity and to be pumped to the brain. This temporary decrease in the blood flow to the brain causes the occurrence of the fainting episode. Number eight is anemia. So anemia, which is called a low red blood cell count, whether it occurs acutely from bleeding or gradually for a variety of reasons can cause fainting because there aren't enough red blood cells to deliver enough oxygen to the brain. Number nine is pregnancy. So feelings of lightheadedness and dizziness are common, especially during early pregnancy. This happens because of both the hormonal changes occurring in the mom's body and the increasing of her blood volume. And finally, number 10, which are medications. So taking diuretic drugs, beta blockers, or any other antihypertensive medications may cause something called orthostatic hypertension, which is actually a sudden drop in the blood pressure when one stands up from a seated or a prone, which is a laying down position. This causes one to feel very dizzy and even to faint altogether. 
And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And please make sure to turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you would like to help us make better videos and content, you can also donate to us via PayPal. Take care and thanks for joining me today as I explored the 10 causes of fainting.